66 million years ago, dinosaurs walked and swam and flew over the Earth. 65 million years ago, an asteroid put a stop to that. And here we are, eons later, descendants of the little mammals that survived the catastrophe. All the dinosaurs of the time left behind as their legacy were fossilized bones. Or is there something else? The Jurassic Park movie franchise is based on the idea that something more of the dinosaurs survived, their DNA. In the movies, if an insect made a meal of dino blood and was then trapped in amber, the genetic blueprint of the dinosaur could be partially recovered. Using that, scientists were able to sequence a complete dinosaur DNA molecule, inject it into an ostrich egg, and boom, out pops your toothy movie antagonist. Unfortunately, this won't work in real life. For one thing, the DNA is scrambled in a mosquito's gut and incomplete. In the movie, they wave this away, saying that they fill the gaps with frog DNA, but this won't work either. The DNA is mixed up with the insect's DNA, and you can't just use some other species to fill in the gaps. <coughs> Think of it this way. Take a copy of Tolstoy's War and Peace and toss it in a shredder. That's the dinosaur DNA. Now throw in, say, oh, Death from the Skies by me. That's the insect DNA. Now throw away half of it and try to reassemble Tolstoy's masterpiece from the pile of pulp you have. Too hard? Well, shred up a copy of the dictionary and see if you can use that to fill the gaps. No? Yeah, but then you wouldn't have a movie franchise. <laughs> Even if we suspend our disbelief and allow dinosaurs to run amok, what about the reason the park collapses? Ian Malcolm, the rock star scientist character, says that chaos theory will ensure things fall apart. Here's how he explains it to paleobotanist Ellie Sattler. Right. Which way is going to roll off? Let's say back. Nope. Same way. Is that same way? Same back? Same way. <gasps> change. It changed. Why? Because tiny variations never repeat and vastly affect the outcome. That's an okay analogy for chaos theory, but it doesn't really have anything to do with the events of the movie. <laughs> It's not chaos theory that allows dinosaurs to breed even though they're all born female. That's just biology. We know the reed frog can change sex if there aren't enough males to breed. I'm simply saying that life uh, finds a way. And it wasn't chaos theory that let the dinosaurs escape either. That was human greed coupled with stupidity in the form of corporate spy Dennis Nedry. Uh -huh. you didn't say the magic word who tried to steal the dino DNA and botched up his escape completely, letting the dinosaurs out of their cages and ruining a perfectly good Jeep and poncho in the process. There are plenty of more scientific boo-boos in the movies in its sequel. For example, velociraptors weren't as big as depicted in the movies, and a Jeep could easily outpace even the speediest T-Rex. Jurassic Park could happen. But you know what? A movie doesn't have to be perfectly scientifically accurate to be fun, entertaining, and a huge box office smash. If you want to experience dinosaurs in real life, you'll just have to be satisfied with birds, the only real descendants of those terrible lizards that ruled the Earth for over 200 million years. They may not be exactly the real thing, but in some cases, they get pretty close. Honestly, theatrics only happens in men's soccer. Oh, 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 I'm here, I'm man. so sorry. Oh, this my. is my wife here. So what? you need no, to I'm step. Not actually... I will cut you. I will cut you, bitch.